Solve for integers x and y. x squared, plus 4xy, plus y squared, equals 2022. This is a Diophantin equation. The equality is symmetric about x and y. So without loss of generality, we assume that, x is less than or equal to y. We let y equal x plus n, where n is a non-negative integer. Substitute y equal x plus n in the equation. We have, x squared, plus 4 times x, times x plus n, plus x plus n all squared, equals 2022. Simplify the left side of the equation, we have, 6x squared, plus 6xn, plus n squared, equals 2022. As 2022, equals 6 times 337. So 6 divided 2022. This implies that 6 divides n squared. That is, 6 divides n. So we let n equal 6m, where m is a non-negative integer. Substitute n equal 6m in the equation. We have, 6x squared, plus 36xm, plus 36m squared, equals 6 times 337. Divide the equation by 6, we have, x squared, plus 6xm, plus 6m squared, equals 337. We know that 337, equals 336 plus 1, which can be written as, 6 times 56 plus 1. That is to say, 337, is congruent to 1, modulo 6. This implies that, x squared, is congruent to 1, modulo 6. So either x is congruent to 1, modulo 6. Or x is congruent to negative 1, modulo 6. Case 1, x is congruent to 1, modulo 6. So we let x equal 6t plus 1, where t is a non-negative integer. Substitute x equal 6t plus 1, in the equation, we have 6t plus 1 all squared, plus 6 times 6t plus 1, times m, plus 6m squared, equals 337. Expand 6t plus 1 all squared, which is equal to, 36t squared, plus 12t, plus 1. Move 1 on the left side of the equation to the right side of the equation. 337, minus 1, equals 336. Divide the equation by 6, we have, 6t squared, plus 2t, plus 6t plus 1, times m, plus m squared, equals 56. Now we view the equation as a quadratic equation in t. So we write, 6t squared, plus 6m plus 2 times t, plus m squared, plus m, minus 56, equals 0. Use the quadratic formula, we can find t, which is equal to, negative b, plus or minus, root of, b squared minus 4ac, over 2a. Where a equals 6, b equals 6m plus 2, and c equals m squared, plus m, minus 56. So we can now write, equals negative 6m, minus 2, plus or minus, root of, 6m plus 2 all squared, minus 4 times 6, times m squared, plus m, minus 56, over 12. Which is equal to 1 over 6, times negative 3m, minus 1, plus or minus, root of, 3m squared, plus 337. As t is a non-negative integer, so the negative root is discarded. So t equals, 1 over 6, times negative 3m, minus 1, plus root of, 3m squared, plus 337. Clearly, for sufficiently large m, root of, 3m squared, plus 337, is approximately equal to root 3m. So negative 3m minus 1, plus root of, 3m squared, plus 337, is less than 0 for sufficiently large m. Now we want to find m, such that negative 3m minus 1, plus root of, 3m squared, plus 337, equals 0. Negative 3m minus 1, plus root of, 3m squared, plus 337, equals 0. If and only if, 
3m plus 1 all squared, equals 3m squared, plus 337. If and only if, 6m squared, plus 6m, minus 336, equals 0. If and only if, m squared, plus m, minus 56, equals 0. If and only if, m minus 7, times m plus 8, equals 0. If and only if, m equals 7. As negative 3m minus 1, plus root of, 3m squared, plus 337, is decreasing, so there are no positive solutions, when m is greater than 7. When m is greater than or equal to 0, and less than or equal to 6, 3m squared plus 337, equals 337, 340, 349, 364, 385, 412, 445, respectively. As none of these numbers is a square number, so there are no positive integer solutions when m is greater than or equal to 0, and less than or equal to 6. From equation 1, we know that, when m equals 7, t equals 0. As x equals 6t plus 1, so x equals 1. n equals 6m, so n equals 6 times 7, which is 42. y equals x plus n, which is equal to 1 plus 42, which is 43. As mentioned before, the equality is symmetric about x and y. So xy equal 1, 43, or 43, 1. Case 2, x is congruent to negative 1, modulo 6. So we let x equal 6t plus 5, where t is a non-negative integer. Substitute x equal 6t plus 5, in the equation, we have 6t plus 5 all squared, plus 6 times 6t plus 5, times m, plus 6m squared, equals 337. Expand 6t plus 5 all squared, which is equal to, 36t squared, plus 60t plus 25. Move 25 on the left side of the equation to the right side of the equation. 337, minus 25, equals 312. Divide the equation by 6, we have, 6t squared, plus 10t, plus 6t plus 5, times m, plus m squared, equals 52. Now we view the equation as a quadratic equation in t. So we write, 6t squared, plus 6m plus 10 times t, plus m squared, plus 5m, minus 52 equals 0. Use the quadratic formula, we can find t, which is equal to, negative b, plus or minus, root of, b squared minus 4ac, over 2a. Where a equals 6, b equals 6m plus 10, and c equals m squared, plus 5m, minus 52. So we can now write, equals negative 6m, minus 10, plus or minus, root of, 6m plus 10 all squared, minus 4 times 6, times m squared, plus 5m, minus 52, over 12. Which is equal to 1 over 6, times negative 3m, minus 5, plus or minus, root of, 3m squared, plus 337. As t is a non-negative integer, so the negative root is discarded. So t equals, 1 over 6, times negative 3m, minus 5, plus root of, 3m squared, plus 337. We know that when m is greater than or equal to 0, and less than or equal to 6, 3m squared plus 337, equals 337, 340, 349, 364, 385, 412, 445, respectively. As none of these numbers is a square number, so there are no positive integer solutions when m is greater than or equal to 0, and less than or equal to 6. When m equals 7, root of, 3m squared, plus 337, equals root of, 3 times 7 squared, plus 337, which is root of 408 4, which is 22. So when m equals 7, t equals 1 over 6, times negative 3, times 7, minus 5, 
plus 22, which is less than 0. So there are no positive solutions, when m is greater than or equal to 7. That is to say, there are no solutions for case 2. Thus, xy equal 1, 43, or 43, 1, are the only two solutions of the original equation.